I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here's episode 307 of our Pokemon Mr. Dungeon DX Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we went back in the Lightning Field and looked for some Tricos. We found one, so we'll take that as a W, as a victory. Um, so that currently puts us at 462 out of 473, and of course, guys, that, 100, that 473 number includes every single individual Pokemon in the Pokedex, including all 28 Shinies and all 28 Unknown. Um, I'll go over what we are missing here in a second, but today we're going to be going to Mount Far Away in an attempt to find Riolu and or Shiny Celebi. There's a guaranteed Mystery House on floor 30. And that's what we're aiming for. We're going to get to floor 30. Regardless of what's in the mystery house, we are going to use an escape orb, roll out, and then we'll try again later. So that's kind of the plan. Um, regardless of the outcome today, next episode we're probably going to be going after Shiny Altaria and Fantasy Straight. So that's the current plan. Um, so anyways, apples. We could probably use a couple more just to be on the safe side. Grab like five more. That should do it. Alright. Did we not grab them? Sorry, I was, uh, my phone was vibrating because I got Pokemon Go open. I think we did grab them. We'll grab a few more. Okay. Let's keep rolling. There's not far away. It is a 60 floor dungeon, but as I've mentioned already, we're just getting to floor 30 and then we're going to uh, skateboard out. I just wanted to quickly double check. We can deposit money, that's fine. I should have checked this a second ago, but I want to make sure we do have an escape board. We do. Okay, that's all I need. And we are ready to rock. Let's go. Now, there is a chance that we see Shiny Electrode. Last time we went to Mount Far Away, I believe we did see one. Um, we have Shiny Electrode. In fact, as I mentioned, I go. I want to let it go in auto mode in here real quick while we... Uh, of course, it always does that as soon as I click on it, too. Um, as soon as... Uh, okay. As soon as we start auto mode, it always finds an enemy Pokemon. And does that and just stops. <laughs> I was going to quickly go over what Pokemon we need. In the Google Documents, there's not many. There's only 11 Pokemon we're missing, so that's pretty damn good. We're getting very close to being done. Because once we get the rest of those Pokemon, we are done. Because there's nothing else to possibly do in this game. Um, so we need Umbreon, Grovile, and Skeptile. We need Skitty. We need Feebas. We need Riolu, which is what we're looking for here today. We need Leafeon and Sylveon. And then Shinies, we're missing three. We need Magikarp, we need Altaria, and of course Celebi. And Celebi is another one we're looking for today. So now we can turn this off auto. And we'll play manually. So. Like I said, we're, we're, we're pretty close to being done. I, I, if we get lucky, right, and find Riolu and Shiny Celebi very quickly. Because the only way you can find them is in Mystery Houses. That is it. Is that? I think it is actually a Feebas. There's no way. Is that really? I mean, that's gonna save us a trip to the waterfall pond for sure. It is a Feebas. Holy cow! Well, regardless of what happens today, guys, we we got a uh, you know we increased our Pokedex here. So you know, like I said before, um, at this point in the game, if we get even just one. Pokemon for our living decks. That's a very successful episode because we're so close to being done. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Perhaps we will see a Riolu and or a Shiny Celebi. I don't know if we can get both in the same Mystery House, but could you imagine if we got both? 
then there's pretty much like all that's left would be shiny Altaria, shiny Magikarp, which could take time because it's completely RNG reliant. Or uh, we also need to get the uh, Pokemon from the Joyous Tower, which could be kind of difficult because Joyous Tower is kind of a pain in the butt, if we're being honest. Because you do start off at level 1, you can't bring in items. Uh, we have a separate team for that. We have uh, BB, B-I-B-I. -B -I. It's the name of a subunit in Love Live, um, the original Love Live, Muse. And uh, it consists of Nico, Maki, there we go, and Ellie. So that is our team with the Almastar, Mew, and Pelipper. Alright, here we go. Boom. So we'll have to pull that team out. We've only used them to get through. There's an Electro. I got excited from it, but then I just remember I'm not looking for a shiny Pokemon in this run. Which means we're going to see like five shiny Electrodes, guaranteed. Garen Damteed. Not a shiny this time. Pretty pumped about the Feebas, though. If I'm being honest. Besides the uh, Riolu and the Shinies, the hardest Pokemon to get might actually be Skitty. Because Skitty, I think, is like floor like 26, I want to say. Here, I'll turn it back on auto. Because I have it written down next to her uh, her name. Uh, Skitty. Yeah, floors 20 through 25 um, of Joy's Tower. Again, may not be that difficult. Because we can get Tricos on floors 1 through 4. Now, the, the, the also the object would have to be to keep them alive as well. And that might also be tough. So what might end up happening is... If we find an escape orb early on... If we can get lucky and find an escape orb... We may grab like a couple, you know, uh, Tricos and maybe a couple Eevees and just roll out. You know what I mean? Because that's also how we're going to get Eevees as well. Um, let me find yeah, Sylveon, which is Joy's Tower Floors 12 through 17. Um, so we'll kind of see how that works out. Skitty may not be too hard to secure. We can get a Skitty. We have a mission. Uh, we have two missions, actually. I think one on like Floor 22. And maybe one of like floor 26, something like that. Um, so that won't be too bad. Because we can get the skitty and then basically finish a mission that basically gives us the option of leaving once we're done with an objective. Which is why we picked up those missions to begin with. Another electrode. We'll take him out. We'll go ahead and make some uh, sunny day here. It's almost apple time. Take down Skarmory. There we go. Extra specs back on Honoka. There is a mystery, uh, not a mystery, but a monster house here. You can tell by all those items clustered together on the map. We're going to avoid that because we don't need any Pokemon here besides the, uh, the mystery house. Not to be confused with the monster house. Mystery house, invitation house, I've heard it called both. I call it mystery house. But uh, that's what we have these invitations for. It's basically a big ass house, just in case you've never seen one. Um, it's a big ass house, and you have to use one of these to get in. Now we have two, just in case we run into another one along the way. But on floor 30, there's a guaranteed one. Um, I don't know if there's any other dungeons that has a guaranteed mystery house. But this one certainly does. It may be the only one. So, knowing that there's a guaranteed one, um, obviously would be the selection of the stage that we would want to do versus just doing a dungeon over and over again to eventually find one um, which is definitely not something we want to do 
Right, there was a fainted Kabutops here. We don't need Kabutops, obviously. Yeah, sorry that I keep looking at my phone, because uh, it's Community Day as well for December. And I've already caught a bunch of Shinies, but I'm really, I, I don't have a Shiny Machop yet on Pokemon Go. So I'm really looking for my chops today. Um, of course, none are popping up. I'm finding goddamn everything else. All right, so there's a sand slasher that we do not need. So I'm, you know, I have a an incense going. And I'm clicking on Pokemon as they pop up, just to see if they're shiny, and then I just kind of run away. I have plenty of candies for all these Pokemon, um, because for their respective community days, I've caught plenty of shinies of all of them, and, uh, and then I've caught even more since uh, Community Day has started. So I'm hoping... Uh, I'm hoping to find at least one Shiny Machop. But today's Day 2 of the Community Day, so I really doubt it. At this point. But, uh... You never know. Because typically I try not to play on my phone too much while recording as well. I do sometimes, admittedly. But not for like this series, for like, if I'm playing like Pokemon, like, like Diamond or something, it's a turn-based game. It's real easy while there's attack, you know, going on, that I can do something on my phone. And if I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't even notice, to be honest. But see, that's what I do in my spare time, like when I'm not recording or, you know, doing other stuff. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a multitasker at heart, so I'm constantly doing multiple things at once. Whether it's playing on my phone and playing like TFT or something, or and while listening to music, or listening to a, a a video or a stream in the background, or maybe um, listening to uh, a podcast, anything like that, something in the background, playing on my phone, just a regular good old fashioned dust skull. Oh, a stone popped up. Double heat wave, double fun. By the way, we are nearly halfway through the dungeon. So this episode, much like last episode, may end a little earlier, because normally I try to keep this about 30 minutes. But obviously with what we have remaining to do, there isn't much of a point for me to like extend episodes by doing other dungeons, because there's not really a short one I can do. Because, like, in the past, we'd be able to do, like, Silent Chasm, right? Looking for Shiny Metagross. But since we already have Shiny Metagross, I don't, I can't really do that anymore. The only benefit I can have for doing, like, a different dungeon, that would be quick, is doing a couple runs through, I think, Tiny Woods, it's called. It's the uh, three-floor dungeon. Just to, like, reset the bulletin board and stuff. But honestly, I don't see a point in doing that. Other than to just extend the episode. I don't want to do that. So it is what it is. A little shorter, not a big deal. There's times where we go a little over, so I always, I always feel like it kind of evens out eventually, right? I see a tape pig just popped up. Nope, not shiny. Don't worry, if I get a shiny, I'll let you guys know. Caught a couple of shinies earlier. I got a shiny, uh... Well, I can go to my recent Pokemon. I'll tell you what I got. I just caught a shiny Swabu literally right before I started recording this. It's like my... My 10th shiny Swablu. I got a shiny Duskull earlier. Shiny, uh... Two, two shiny Shinxes earlier today. Two shiny Roselias. A shiny Snivy. I got a shiny Charmander from a, uh... One of the tasks. Which is kind of cool. It's got decent stats, you know? I have a billion shiny Charmanders, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna put all my, like, extra shiny... Like, basically... I try to get one for, like, each evolution... And then pretty much, I try to grab a couple in case like one of my friends couldn't do like the community and I could trade them. And any other extras beyond that, I just put them on Pokemon Home. And uh, just gonna have like an army of shiny Pokemon over there. Eventually maybe I'll put some of these on Brilliant Diamond. Like Shinx, I have a ton of, sh you know, a ton of shiny stink uh, Shinxes. I could throw one over there. Roselia, etc. Thank you. 
whenever we can. I mean, obviously it's not compatible with Pokemon Home just yet, but when it is... I mean, it's a shame that I'll probably be done with my uh, Brilliant Diamond series by the time the home compatibility is going to come out. Unless it comes out during Christmas or something, which is possible. But, uh... Because it would be cool to like transfer over Shiny Roselia. Since, we, since we're using a Roserade right now. We're also using Luxray, so that'd be cool too, using a Shiny Luxray, but... Don't think it's gonna happen. Flame Burst. Alright, 19th floor. Another Monster House. Again, not interested. Flame burst. Absol wants to join the party. I actually just hatched a shiny Absol on uh, Pokemon Go as well. Not too long ago. I was pretty excited about it actually. It's funny because it like I opened up Pokemon because you know give me give me the notification. Oh, you have an A catcher, so I open it up. I set my phone down while I'm like doing something. I think I was hold on. Do 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 Sandstorm. I think I was talking to some friends of Discord or something, we were playing a game. I can't remember what it was. We were playing Call of Duty or something. No clue. And uh I look down at my phone and all of a sudden I see this like red absol just staring at me. I'm like, the hell did I just hatch this? Pretty pumped though. I love Absol, man. Alright. It's almost Apple time again. Another sandstorm. You know, we'll do it a second time. Sandstorm. Got a couple new Pokemon popped up here and go. Let me pop. Let me take a quick peek. Now, Roselia's not shiny. What about this Duskull? No. Nope. Let me pop a sunny day real quick. Alright. So many Tyranitars just rolling around. We're out of heat waves. Let me. Pop an ether. How are we on discharges? Uh, we got three left. Yeah, why the hell not? Like right, so no matter what happens here, once we get to that 30th floor. Very successful episode. We got ourselves a fee bass. I wasn't expecting it. Didn't even know if I won't do it a third time. That's too much. Yeah, I gotta make you guys want it. You know. Um, because I, I didn't even know fee bass could be even like a fated Pokemon in here to be honest. So yeah, pretty pumped. Now, in fairness, fee bass is gonna be one of the easier ones for us to get <laughs> that we needed left. Um, because it's literally like in Waterfall Pond, which is a, it's just an easy dungeon to run through. But still, I'm excited nonetheless. Can't complain about a new Pokemon. Especially since we're so close to being done. And then I can start finally uploading those Pokemon Snap videos that I did nearly a year ago. Which I should have started doing a long time ago. Which is why I didn't hesitate with uh, Brilliant Diamond. Jumped right into it. Gonna do the same thing with Legends Arceus. I'm super excited for that game. Easily my highest anticipated game that I know ex that that's coming out. <laughs> you know what I mean? All 
Alright, 24. There's an Oshawott up. Not shiny. Another uh, Sandstorm. Uh, I'm just gonna go on the stairs here. Is that a Silcoon? Nice try, bitch! You know what? I'll give it to you. Do 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 I've given you guys plenty of sandstorms. I think three in this video? Oh, hell no. See, this is why we run Sunny Day. Large floor. Another electrode. Oh, looks like community day is officially over. <laughs> I looked down on my phone and looked at the Pokemon that were up. All community day Pokemon, and literally, as it hit 5 p.m. here, my local time, Central Standard. The, all the Pokemon like disappeared, and then uh, all of a sudden, two Stanlers, a Bell Sprout, and a Deerling popped up. <laughs> Guess that's it, boys. No Shiny Machop. I can close the app now. It's a, it's a damn shame. And I actually have a Shiny Machop that I bred a long time ago. I, sounds weird when you say it like that, but I got it in Pokemon. Actually, it wasn't even bred. I caught it. In Pokemon, I want to say Sun and Moon. Her name is Tsunade from Naruto. And uh, she's in my Pokemon uh, home currently. Double fire blast, double fun. All right, boys, one more floor remaining. Look at that! Look at that! Just two Tyranitar just chilling. Big focus blast. Another electrode out and about as well. You know what? We'll just eat a regular app. I don't feel like. Uh, Popping the belt on. No reason to. This is essentially the final floor. Big fire blast. Just a regular Electro, not shiny. So we actually didn't run into a shiny one today, so that's good. I want to save that shiny luck for when we go after Altaria in the next episode. Let's go down this way. You know what? For one more time, one good measure, 
Sandstorm. Let's activate Sunny Day. All right. Come on, baby, Riolu. Shiny Celebi. Come on. More, more sand and another electrode. So now he's got to find the mystery house. And we are as good as done. Lately. Big old Blaziken chilling. Oh, hell no. Pokemon coming to us. There's the stairs. We don't want the stairs, actually. I want to go ahead and eat that tiny apple, because, you know what? Why not? Right, so it's got to be on the right side of the map. Did our Feebash just get separated from us? Oh, no. Get back here, buddy. Especially with that Electrode running around. This is one of the craziest floors I've seen. Alakazam. There it is. Alright boys, come on. Shiny Celebi or Riolu, come on. Fucking hit Mon Lee. Well, that's fairly disappointing. But, we got Feebas, so I can go ahead and update this Pokedex real quick. 463, we're just 10 Pokemon away. Very exciting, like I said. Am not mad at that. Didn't even know there was a possibility of getting Feebas today. Kind of already planning a lot, you know, walking away with nothing, so. Definitely take it. Boom. Ed edited on my uh, Google Documents, got it on the overlay. There's Phoebus. Yes, please. So we'll do our item manager. Actually, not too bad on time. Actually, pretty close to the uh, thirty-minute mark. We'll do our item management, we'll check the bulletin board, check the mailbox, see if there's any missions that we want to pick up. We'll leave that in there for now. Eh, nothing good in there. Okay. Well, deposit everything. I need to grab another invitation. Get rid of all these tiny apples. Get rid of a few of these apples. Last but not oh, there's a Munchlax here, chilling. Very hungry. We're gonna check the bulletin board, and then we're gonna make like a Don fan and roll out. All right, nothing good there. A Chikorita, but we don't need Chikorita. All right, that's it. 
Well, guys, like I said, next episode, look forward to going back to the Fantasy Straight as we chase after Shiny Altaria. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm the Maverick Daniels, bidding you farewell, peace, and one love. Bang!